and welcome to The Author's Attic, the production of Social Problems, the official journal publication of the Society for the Study of Social Problems. I am Erica Lorenzana del Villar, and in this special edition of Author's Attic, we will be joined by Dr. Roberto Gonzalez, author of the recently published book, Lives in Limbo, Undocumented and Coming of Age in America. So um, over the years, as I'm working with, with kids, um, largely school-aged kids and, and teenagers, I uh, started noticing that over time that many of our neighborhood youth were running into barriers as they hit 8th grade, ninth grade, 10th grade. Um, their friends were moving forward, um, getting driver's licenses, um, taking first jobs, either an after-school job or, or summer job, um, thinking about college, getting financial aid for college, um, while they stayed stuck. Um, and so for many of these young people, this was a very debilitating experience. Um, many of our neighborhood youth then were leaving school. Um, there weren't a lot of answers for these kids, and, and, and many of them had become um, very frustrated, very disillusioned, um, couldn't see their future in front of them, um, and so left school. And this is what, what inspired, what really started this, this, what has become a very long-term inquiry into this kind of broad question, what happens to undocumented immigrant youth as they make critical transitions through adolescence and young adulthood. So very significantly, this, this is a, a story of contemporary immigration. Mm -hmm. This is also a story of our contemporary schooling. So my respondents, the 150 young people that I, I, I followed over these years, um, went to very large high schools in, in, in Southern California, mm -hmm. five county uh, Los Angeles metropolitan. What I found to be true was that for college goers and these early exiters alike, that while in at near the end of high school, moving forward, their trajectories really diverge. Mm -hmm. So you've got these college goers who are making transitions from high school to college, many of them through the help of of their teachers, of their counselors, of adults in their lives, and how you can carve a path for them. Um, they find themselves at um, Cal State Universities in, in Southern California, in University of California system, um, at, at the community college. Well, many of the early exiters um, went to work very early. They left school to low-wage jobs, mm -hmm. while the college goers were able to kind of suspend uh, some of the limitations of their status. Many of the early exiters, from the time they leave school, leaving a legally permissible institution, um, many of them ended up at close range their legal limitations. Mm -hmm. So, in the beginning, many of their trajectories converge or diverge rather, but over time, as many of these young people move through their mid-20s, their late 20s, mm -hmm. and now even their early 30s, um, their trajectories converge. So education then, you know, all that we all that we know about the importance of education, mm -hmm. all that we know about uh, investments in human capital and that link, right, that link between human capital and, uh, and success, mm -hmm. educational attainment and and, and success in the workforce. Um, uh, this was proved by, by these young people um, to not hold up. This book is a testament to the effects of stalled immigration reform and the heightened enforcement over the last several years. During the Obama administration, 2.5 million people have been deported. 
when I started this research, I was interested in a set of sociological questions around issues of um, incorporation and mobility. What I didn't expect to find, but I, what I found almost to the person, is that the young people that I came to know described to me symptoms of stress, chronic and emotional manifestations of their stress. They spoke of trouble sleeping, trouble getting out of bed in the morning, eating problems, chronic headaches, toothaches, ulcers, thoughts of suicide, attempted suicide. Like this, this master status of the illegality in their lives. Right? Not only a, a legal predicament, it was an embodied experience. So, so I think at the heart of this book, this is a book of this is a book about coming of age in this country. Um, this is a book about the disastrous effects of our um, of our immigration system, and this is a book about the ways in which um, local level institutions and actors mediate this process. You have been watching a special edition of The Author's Attic, a production brought to you by Social Problems, the official publication of the Society for the Study of Social Problems. We would like to thank our guest, Roberto Gonzalez, for sharing his time and invaluable insights with us. Please stay tuned for future installments.